Yes, welcome back, our viewers. Today we are having a Forza 10. This is a, it has a smart system, as you can see here the S, and the screen for the gears. So, and last video I showed you how to initialize the smart for the Forza 8. Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it on the Forza 10. This is a newer version for Forza 8. This is MF10 for the X, as others call it for the X. Yes, this is a 250cc. So I'm going to take you through the initialization process of the gear system. Good. Now, first of all, we are lucky we got this uh, this body removed. You are going to see closer. Now, here on the battery case, we are going to find this red red service connector it has four wires we are going to loop only two wires we are going to have uh, remove it it is a blank cover so you find this brown and the green with a black strip so you are going to loop here we are going to loop the brown and a black strip. Yes, this is brown and black. So after, you should make sure your engine has enough fuel and the battery is fully charged, and uh, the engine is warm. It is warm. It's not. Uh, it is not uh, advised to do this system process when the engine is not warm. So we have been warming up the engine. Uh, first of all, you should you are going to hold this. You press this plus minus on the shift shift button. The minus you hold it as you turn up turn on the ignition switch. So you should make sure gear one is blinking on the gear indicator. Gear one is blinking. Then after you operate the throttle full, fully open, then you release it. Then gear two should blink there. From there, we are not going to operate throttle again. We are going to just start the engine and let the system make sure it is like system reset of the gear because we have been servicing the gear system. Here we are, uh, we are check the clutch, lubricating the variator. So for proper gear setting, we are going to start the engine, then take you through the process. As you can see, gear three is blinking, and then we are having gear 4 after gear 4 you can see gear 5 yes after gear 5 now the system has uh, already reset so I'm going to show you this part as a uh, Thank you for watching. Keep tuned in, subscribe to the channel. Now, after uh, this is the process is done, we remove the our loop that we had put here. Then we assemble back the bike, we give back to a client for uh, power on the bike. Then I show you what maximum speed can we get here.
how we have seen for yourself, we are having almost 160. We are around 155, 155 there. Now it means when we hit the road, at least we can get 140. So keep tuned in for more info about scooters and other bikes. We are speed and sound. Now, we meet again. Thank you for watching.